Brown has been making strides in the mid-range segment, which seems to be the new battleground for smartphone brands in India. Fresh in the Chinese smartphone maker's mid-range portfolio is the Realm X7 Max 5G, which is the third smartphone it has launched in the X-Series this year. Though the phone seems similar to the Realm X7 Pro 5G on parameters more than one, it exudes differences both the way it looks and operates. Being a motley mix, the Realm X7 Max 5G is priced lesser than the Pro model. Does the Realm X7 Max 5G fit the bill? Let's find out. The Realm X7 Max 5G looks similar to most other Realm smartphones, boring that is. Realm has not brought any significant changes to its smartphone design language for about a year now when the aging is now apparent, especially when compared to smartphones from other brands. Made mostly of plastic, the smartphone has a grainy finish on the back cover that provides solid in hand grip and aids handling. The plastic construction extends to the frame that makes the phone less durable compared to ones with metallic chassis. The Realm X7 Max 5G might not be a looker, but it is one of the few smartphones in its segment that is easy to hold and operate, thanks to its lightweight built and compact form factor. Though best operated using both hands, the phone does not feel unwieldy even after extended usage. The Realm X7 Max 5G has a 6.43-inch Super AMOLED screen of FUD Plus resolution, 120Hz refresh rate, 360Hz touch sampling rate, and up to 1000 nits of peak brightness level. The screen has Dragon Trail glass layered on top for protection against scratches and smudges. It is a flat display with top left aligned punch hole for the front camera. The screen has thin bezels around it and the otherwise prominent one on the chin is fairly slim too. The punch hole on the screen is neither small nor too big. Interestingly, the front camera module seems tiny but the black ring around it to filter screen light is thick, stretching the screen punch hole wide. Nevertheless, the screen is bright, vivid and responsive. It can be set to refresh at 60Hz and 120Hz rate. There is also an auto mode, which variably switches to either 60Hz or 120Hz based on the on-screen content requirement. From smooth UI movements to swift transition and quick scrolling, there is no way one finds the screen wanting in smoothness. Complementing the screen is the phone's always-on display feature, which shows time, date and other relevant information on the phone's locked screen. The screen boasts an in-display fingerprint sensor, which is sluggish and inaccurate but gets the job done. Interestingly, the face unlock works better and compensates for the underwhelming in-screen fingerprint sensor. Complementing the screen is the Dolby Atmos-powered dual speakers with high-res audio certification. The speakers are loud and clear. They have a good depth with a balanced output. The stereo speakers make the Realm X7 Max 5G a suitable smartphone for gaming and entertainment use. The Realm X7 Max 5G has a triple camera array on the back, featuring a 64 megapixel primary sensor of an f/1.8 aperture and 8 MP ultra wide angle sensor of an f/2.3 aperture and 119 degree field of view and a 2 MP depth sensor. On the front the phone has a 16 MP sensor of an f/2.5 aperture and 78 degree fob. The camera performance is good but not class leading. The primary sensor works well in good light conditions. It captures detailed frames with a good amount of dynamic range. Though the phone lacks a dedicated zoom lens, the 64 MP primary sensor is good for up to 2x zoom shots without any significant loss in detail, in good light conditions. The phone's ultra-wide angle sensor is a mixed bag. It captures satisfactory shots with a decent detail but struggles with colors. Photos taken with the ultra-wide angle sensor look washed out and there is a visible noise spread across the frame. In low-light conditions, the rear cameras struggle to capture fine prints. There is a dedicated night mode to aid the phone's low-light imaging capability but it also seems inadequate to lift the sensor's low-light performance. The Realm X7 Max 5G's rear camera might not be versatile but it is loaded with value-added features, both for stills and videography. 
For stills, there is an Ultra 64 MP mode for detailed photography in good light conditions. Besides, there is a 64 MP Pro mode, which is like a regular Pro mode or manual mode but utilizes the primary sensor's native resolution instead of applying pixel binning. Speaking of the manual mode, it is named Expert Mode in the Realm X7 Max 5G. Interestingly, the Expert Mode has a provision to save image file in RAW format, which would impress content creators. The front camera is good for selfies and video calls. However, it is not best suited for group selfies due to a narrow fob. Though it applies the beauty filter, the output looks balanced with neutral colors. For low-light selfies, the Realm X7 Max 5G has a selfie night mode that works well but requires stable hands for a finer looking output. The Realm X7 Max 5G is powered by MediaTek's flagship Command City 1200 system on chip, paired with up to 12GB RAM and 256GB onboard storage. The phone is a performance powerhouse. It delivers consistent performance without any visible lag or throttling, even after extended usage. Speaking of performance throttling, the phone keeps thermals in control and does not heat up unnecessarily. It warms up a bit at times but not to a point where it becomes uncomfortable to hold and use. Complementing the Realm X7 Max 5G performance is the Realm UI 2.0. Based on Android 11 operating system, the custom user interface from Realm is full of customization options for personalized experience. While the phone score is big in terms of performance, its user experience gets pulled down by a few notches due to bloat where it comes with. Thankfully, there are no instances of ads in the UI, something that some of Realm's peers just could not get enough to throw as a part of the package with their smartphones. The Realm X7 Max is a 5G smartphone and it supports 5G dual dual standby. However, the phone's 5G network capability could not be tested due to lack of a 5G network at present. The Realm X7 Max 5G ships with a 4,500 mAh battery and the company's USB-C based 65 watts Super Dart charger. Though it comes with a 65 watts fast charger, the phone's fast charging capability is capped at 50 watts. Nevertheless, the phone easily sails through a day even if the screen is set to 120 Hz refresh rate. Charging time is quick and it takes about an hour minutes to charge the battery fully from 0% to charge the